Well, uh, if you've watched some of our videos, you've seen that we are building Optimus prams like these kids had back in Clearwater in the 1950s. And at this point, we are leveling out the chines to accept our hull panels. Here's my niece uh, working on one of the chines, leveling it off. Here we are looking across the middle station. You take a piece of uh, pine and just set it across there. And you can see that we're trying to level it so that the very bottom of the boat is flat on those chines. And because of the way they were are installed, they have a they have a high point that you have to take off. And here's another uh, one of my nieces here with my brother in the background. She's leveling off that high point on the chine so that when we recheck it with a board, things are level. Here we are at the bow, looking across. That side looks nice. As we go across the bow piece, we're looking at the other end. You can see we've got a little bit of a gap. We need to sand down the bow. Here's my son working away on his, and another one of my nieces working with my brother here to level it off, and one of my little nephews having fun. Now, next thing is we're, uh, we're ready for the panels for the hull. Okay, we've ripped our plywood at 16 inches, and uh, we're tracing the tracing out one of the sides to use as a template to cut all the other sides. We'll uh, trace a line on and cut it a little bit proud of that line, and then make sure they fit all all the boats and cut the rest of our sides out. And then we've got our line as a uh, to rough out a template piece and then we'll use this uh, one section to mark all our other sides. Uh, we start out with a pretty coarse blade on here and we work down to this one here which is much nicer for cutting these panels. They're nice and clean. We get a lot of tear out with that coarse blade so this looks much better. We got all the sides ready to go. We're going to glue this, put some, run a bead of uh, PL constructive, construction adhesive and uh, just start doing one half of this side and then uh, we'll kind of keep working towards the bow. We got glue down on the outside here of this uh, chine and up here, and we're uh, just going to clamp it in place and chase the uh, chase the curve right to the front of the boat on the top and bottom, so we can squeeze out any voids. And it's only glued to about here, so once I get to about here, I'll peel this back and add the rest of the glue. Let's uh, get us started. Got one side on here. It's just worked forward in a zigzag pattern so it's uh, lay down nice and smooth. One here, then go down, keep working up and down. And it laid it nice and flat. I'm going out on the next boat here. Put some uh, construction adhesive on there. To about halfway and then we'll work to the halfway point and continue on after we get all the screws in this part. Here's my brother attaching one of those panels, uh, going in a zigzag pattern up and down, working forward. And when it was all attached, looking back into the hull here, it was nice and tight. As you can see, the panel, we uh, it's a, it sticks up above the chine, and we'll clean that up with a plane. And we'll get all the sides on so that we're ready to put the bottom panel on, and that should be what we're going to start next time. Is that okay? That is okay. okay. We'll see. I'll show you.
You're going to be able to do this too. When? When? Oh, see that? See those? Look at that. Like a ribbon. That was a show man. That's cool. That's okay. Is it okay if you scrap along the floor? Is that okay? It is okay. Thank you.